Please be seated. Mr. Prosecutor, you may resume your questioning. Sir, were your parents able to stay in your native village during the Khmer Rouge regime, or what happened to them? My uh, parents uh, were evacuated by the Khmer Rouge uh, into the jungle. When was that that your parents were evacuated? It was in late 1973. Why were they taken from their homes to the jungle? Pourquoi ont-ils dû quitter leur maison et ont été emmenés dans la jungle? I did not uh, know the reason, and I dare je not uh, question that either. Je pas osé poser la Was it just your parents, question. or were others in, in the village forced to leave their homes? Que les autres habitants du village ont dû quitter leur maison? Man, ten -an. All, all the villagers. Tous. Uh, two or three villages uh, had to be evacuated uh, into the jungle. So let me go now to after the victory of the Khmer Rouge in April 1975. What was your first job after the Khmer Rouge victory? At the beginning, Réponse. they um, uh, assigned me as the militiaman. Au début, and then later on, um, they fait, recruited me and mis dans la milice, sent me to et ensuite, the district, ils au district office. And I did not know uh, the uh, level uh, clearly, but uh, I only knew je that it was the district office. Okay, when Question. you said you first, after April 1975, were assigned to the militia, were you again a commander, and if so, how many militia did you command? At that time, I was no longer a commander. Je n'étais plus commandant à l'époque. Uh, I was an ordinary militiaman, uh, together with other militiamen. Uh, two or three of us uh, would uh, go from uh, in the village and monitors in the village. Okay. You said you then were sent to the district office. Was that the Praia Na Praia office? Ensuite envoyé au bureau de district. Était-ce le bureau de Praia Na Praia? Réponse. Yes. Oui. That is correct. C'est exact. Do you recall when that was, or whether it was what year it was, whether it was dry season, rainy season? Était-ce en période sèche ou pendant la mousson? No. It was quite close to the uh, beginning of uh, rainy season uh, in 1975. Who was the head of the district, Praia Net Praia, when you started your job there? Lum. Before Lum was in charge of Bernet Press uh, district office. Was Lum eventually replaced? Question. Lum a-t-il été remplacé? À un moment donné. 
Yes, réponse. letter oui. uh, Tamang replaced Tamang him. Tamang l'a remplacé par la suite. Do you know Question. why Loom was replaced? Savez-vous pourquoi Loom a été remplacé? At that time, réponse. I did not know. I only heard from others that he committed uh, moral offenses and uh, he was removed. Um, did Loom have a connection with Q Sampan that you were aware of? I only heard from others that Certains he uh, used to work with Kirsten Pond, but I cannot uh, confirm uh, it because uh, I only confirmer. heard from others. Une que dans ma After Q uh, Loom was removed, Après, do you know if he was Loom punished or was given another job? To my knowledge, he was uh, sent back to Batambong. In your statement somewhere, you talk, mentioned seeing him in a car. Did you later see him in a car and tell us what that meant to you? L'avez-vous vu dans un véhicule et qu'est-ce que cela voulait dire selon vous? At that time, uh, he was uh, taken to a car from the uh, zone. On l'a mis dans une voiture de la zone. Okay, I'll move on. We'll come back to that later. Sir, the job that you had in the district office, can you explain what your job was? What kind of work did you do? When I was in the uh, district office, I did not have a major role. Je I only received the uh, instruction uh, from the uh, district um, leaders that I need to uh, send people from Phnom Penh to different places, and I also had to help distribute uh, supplies and foods uh, for them. Did you work with a census? Avez-vous participé à un exercice de recensement? Man. No, uh, that was not my uh, responsibility. It was somebody else's responsibility for that. Did you have statistics that you used in the distribution? And did you use a census in making the distribution? Réponse. Yes, uh, at that time there was a uh, census conducted oui. so that they could manage uh, the uh, demographics of the region uh, so that we could distribute uh, supplies and food accordingly. When you talk about a census, can you just explain what kind of information was available there, was gathered through the census? Did you have the names of everyone who lived in the district? Toutes les personnes qui habitaient dans le district. Man, I... No, réponse. we only non. had uh, the total number of people. Mm. We did not have Nous the uh, exact les, names totale, of people. Pas leur nom. Do you know how Est that quoi? was um, determined? Did Village chiefs or someone else actually list the names. If you don't know, please say so. To my understanding, 
uh, it was reported by the village chief and the commune chief. Did someone actually record your name for a census? No, uh, as for the names, no. I don't uh, think, uh, to my knowledge, that it was recorded. Non, je ne pense pas qu'il y ait eu de collecte des noms. What was your next job? Question. Et quel a été votre travail après celui-ci, celui-là? Dans le... And later on, I was uh, uh, taken from the district office, and I was attached Après, to the district mobile unit. Le Did you district become the head of a youth mobile brigade? Question. Êtes-vous devenu chef d'une unité, d'une brigade mobile de jeunes? At the time, I was uh, the chief, but I did not uh, have the uh, overall chef, supervision of the brigade. Uh, I got assistance from others, too. Thank you. How many workers were under you? Question. Combien de subordonnés aviez-vous? Combien de travailleurs vous étiez subordonnés? Réponse. Around 600 to 1,000 uh, people, but I uh, had to uh, supervise with the uh, assistance from others Mais as je well. Aide pour la What was the age range Question. of those in the youth mobile brigade? from 13 years of age to about 27, 28 years of age, because at that time I was about 28. Now, at, at some point, were you taken from a district mobile brigade and moved to something else? Et y a-t-il eu un moment où vous êtes passé de la brigade mobile à un autre poste? Réponse. That I do not recall because I work uh, at Je the uh, district office for about six months and then they uh, took me uh, out. Okay, thank you. Let me just try to refresh your recollection. In your DC camp, when you spoke to, I recall, first of all, that one of the interviews that you gave was with someone from DC CAM. Uh, a couple people from DC CAM who met you. And talked about the Trepang Tamad dam in 2011. Do you recall speaking to someone named Danny Ndara in 2011? Um, response, I recall some of the events. Okay, in that interview on a page that's Kamai, it's the ERN 00728790. It's page 14 in English and in French. It is at 01123715. You were asked by Danny, when did you move from district, district mobile to state region? And you said it was in 1976, approximately in October. So my question is, what did you mean that you moved from the district mobile to the state?
Rahman It means that uh, uh, Repose. the uh, Jews uh, mobile uh, brigades attached to the district is different from that of uh, the regional uh, region or the sector's level. So when you said, at least in my translation, state region, you were transferred to a sector level brigade? Is that what you meant? Man. Yes, uh, because they recruited uh, oui. uh, the, uh, them from the Jews uh, mobile brigades uh, of the district, de and then they uh, uh, attached them to the uh, sectors level. Now, you mentioned Question. in that interview that there were some conflicts between the state and cooperative level le, le about de food. Et le niveau Can you de explain la that sur des questions about de rations? Au sujet des rations alimentaires. Pouvez-vous nous l'expliquer? Because at that time, uh, the mobile brigades and the cooperatives work uh, differently. Les brigades mobiles et les coopératives fonctionnaient de façon différente. For example, for us at the mobile brigade, uh, we nous, were given two, can, mobile, uh, two cans of rice. Deux de riz. As for the cooperatives, they did not have the same food uh, uh, ration uh, because they consider the mobile brigades uh, as the uh, uh, core force. Comme une force Do you know what the ration was for the cooperatives at that time? To Réponse. some of my knowledge, I did not know much about the cooperatives, but I heard from uh, people who uh, told me they said that they had uh, access to about half a can of rice uh, per day. And there were certain uh, circumstances when they did not have it at all. So I want to ask you about a document. I'm going to read something from a document. It's E3 slash 1181. E3 slash 1181. It's a short document, and I'm reading the paragraph mark number four. So in all three languages, it's easy to follow. And this is a document in Khmer dated 27 June 1977. And sir, what it says is Praya Net Praya, the population of Praya Net Praya prior to 17 April was 150 families. More than 70,000 have come from Phnom Penh. More 30,000 people are in Praya Net Praya in post-17 April period. Praya Net Praya and Prasat sub-districts compose of a good number of no good elements. Praya Kam, let me just stop there for a moment. With what I've read so far, is that accurate? As far as you recall, excusez-moi de vous interrompre, Monsieur le Président, simplement. Mr. President, sorry for interrupting. Some change, look me to it. Oui, Mr. President, Council, you may proceed. Merci. Simplement une observation, observation euh, peut-être que pour aider la cabine des interprètes euh, donner le RN pour qu'ils su puissent suivre en même temps, parce que je, je pense qu'il y, y a un problème en tout cas en français pour uh, suivre les citations de M. le Président. President, Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. The ERN, because it's a short document and they're marked by paragraphs, so I was reading paragraph four, so all three languages have that marked as number four. <coughs> Sir, is that accurate? 
what I read sur le témoin, ce que je vous ai lu. About prayer and prayer. À propos de prayer and prayer. Man, no, I, moon, get up. Before 1975, le témoin. I. Uh, did not know how many people there were back then. De y avait avant. I, I simply uh, did not know. Je ne tout pas. Is it correct what it says that uh, le est -il exact? it said more than 30,000 are in prayer net prayer in the post 17 April period? Is that correct? Réponse. Yes. Oui. Council, you may proceed. Oui, la parole est à la défense. Uh, Council, Councilman. Your Honours, I would like to um, register my objection uh, for the uh, use of this uh, document if uh, the prosecution uh, wishes to uh, use uh, this document, uh, he should explain uh, to the court uh, first on the uh, nexus of this document with the witness uh, in question, because uh, the presentation of the document uh, to the witness uh, uh, to of which uh, the witness is not uh, aware, aware, then I uh, am of the view that uh, we do not establish the credibility on the uh, evidence being examined. Uh, so uh, the prosecution should uh, ask uh, whether or not this uh, witness is aware of this uh, document at all. Your Honor, the, the document speaks about prayer net prayer. Where this witness was born is from and was working at the time in the district office. So he has knowledge of prayer net prayer. This, what I'm reading is simply to ask him, with his personal knowledge, to either confirm or correct whether this is true or not. So, sir, if I can just read, try to finish this quickly, there is another point in this document, it says, it is the worst place of starvation, which last year alone killed more than 20,000 people. So again, this document is dated June 77. In 1976, are you aware of people starving in Prea Net Prea, sir? In that year, of course, uh, people died. Oui, des gens sont morts, bien entendu. Uh, some died at the site, and Certains as for the place, number, I uh, did not know the number. Au nombre total, je ne le savais pas. I'm going to go yes. on to another document, and this is E31783, the portion I'm reading, the Kamai ERN 00659260, in French 00606767666, and in English 00491880, and over to the next page. I believe it was read to the last witness by defense counsel. But, sir, this is uh, a document from the Khmer Rouge period that actually is labeled It says that standing on the Trapang Tama Reservoir in the fifth region of the northwest zone, the guests and hosts could see the mountains in the distance and a motorboat sailing in the lake and enjoyed the wonderful scenery. 
et voir euh, Comrade sur le Nien bateau et a vu le beau second paysage. Second Vice President of the Presidium President of the State of Democratic Kampuchea. Alors, le camarade Secretary Rostin, of the Northwest Zone Committee of the KCP de la zone and the Chairman du of the Northwest Zone du Serve the People Committee du de la zone said that the reservoir was built in less than two months by the people of the 5th region of the Northwest Zone in response to the call of the Party Central Committee to build water conservancy projects in a big way. Let me, before I read this to you, I should go back and ask you, sir, at some point were you sent to work at the Trapyang Tamar Dam site. Avez-vous été envoyé à travailler sur le site, euh, enfin sur le chantier du barrage de Trappé Réponse. Yes, oui. uh, I was sent uh, to work over there too on, in on early 1976, maybe in uh, April or. Uh, avril, May, uh, May, when people had to harvest uh, their crops. Um, before I ask you about the year, Donc when you arrived, vous, was the construction underway, Lorsque or were you the very first group to arrive? Uh, when I arrived there, I saw uh, people were constructing uh, the dam, so I think the project uh, was uh, underway. Well, sir, in your prior statements, you said, it was, um, let me just ask you, do you remember when the project started? What month and year? I do not recall it clearly, but uh, to my recollection, uh, it started in early 1976. But I cannot recollect it very well. Okay. Sir, can you tell us how long you were at the dam? Pouvez-vous nous dire pendant combien de temps vous étiez au barrage? How long? Pendant combien de temps y avez-vous travaillé? I worked there Réponse. until late 1977. J'y ai travaillé jusqu'à la fin de l'année 1977. Do you recall then approximately how long you worked there? How many months? Approximately from May 1976 till December 1977 or 78, I, I cannot recall it well. Okay. So you're saying you were there for over a year, is that correct? Yes. Runiem went on to say, the same page, he said, drought set in when we started to build the reservoir, reservoir and the 20,000 people engaged in construction even had not enough drinking water. Do you recall that to be the case when you were there, that there was insufficient water? Yes, I uh, 
recall it. Uh, at that time, we uh, faced uh, the shortage of water, and there were trucks uh, carrying water uh, to uh, supply it to us. During the day when you would work there, did you have water to drink or, would, or not? No. <coughs> During the daytime, we had uh, water to drink, but it was not sufficient. Those who were uh, stationed close to the uh, lake, uh, they had access to waters, but those who were a bit far from the lake, uh, they received the water from the uh, trucks uh, carrying water for them. When you worked at the dam, were you leading a group? Were you leading the youth mobile brigade or another group? The more response. At the beginning, I was a member. And later on, I was reassigned to carry uh, number one quality fertilizer. We will come back to that in a moment. But when you were a member, what do you mean by a member? Did you supervise others or were you just an ordinary worker? I was a member, so I was a, a kind of a assistant to the chief. Who was the chief at that time? Initially, it was Taba, who was the overall chief of the, all the mobile units. How long did you work as Taval's assistant? I worked uh, as his assistant for about four months, and then I uh, was uh, reassigned to carry fertilizer. Why were you assigned to carry fertilizer? They uh, made a reassignment, and I did not know the reason for that, and I did not dare to ask them why I was uh, being reassigned. I'll come back to that in a moment. When, before the dam began, are you aware of any meeting that Taval had about the work? I could not know about that. The meetings at that level would be held at the sector. They would discuss other matters, including the work plan. That is to my understanding. Did Taval inform you and others about meetings he attended about the dam construction? When he returned, uh, the information was disseminated to various uh, units under his uh, subordinates. They spoke about the overall uh, plan of the dam construction, the size of the reservoir, and uh, the uh, timeline of the project. Did they say who the plan came from, who the instructions came from? Uh, 
un mot. It was from the zone. Réponse de la zone. I'm asking you, sir, do you know if there was a meeting in Sfai one or two months before the dam began? Yes, there was a meeting held in uh, Swai, oui. and only Swai. leaders were requested to attend uh, the meeting. Did any leaders come from the center? Did anyone come from the center party? It seemed there was none, or even if there was, uh, I would not know because I did not know them, and nor did they uh, tell me about those people. Sir, let me remind you of something that you said in the interview recorded by DC Cam. This is for counsel and your honors in Kamai ERN 0072-8803. In English, 0073-1127. And in French, 011-23-722. You told Danny, because Trepang Tamal was started in February, it was probably in 1977. But they met one or two months earlier. They conducted the study on the site before they made the decision and forming a committee. Danny asked you who was present Danny at the meeting. You said Tanim. He asked, were there any people from the central party? And you said they came, but I did not know them. He asked you down a few lines to tell him more about the meeting place. And you said you did not know anybody from the central party in Phnom Penh. You said no, you did not. But did they come, you were asked? And you said yes. You also said Ta Niem came to the meeting. You also said people from the sector, from Ta Hong's region. You also said all members of the district committee. Going down to the next page in English, you, were then, you then said that <coughs> they first met in Svai and then in Trapang Tamal. Danny asked you if you came to the meeting and you said no. And you were asked, but why did you know about the meeting? You said, well, they told us that tomorrow there will be a meeting with central party members, district committee, chief of zone and region. Is what I said correct, that that's what you told the interviews, interviewers in 2011? Waiting for your response.
I'm not sure, sir, if I need to read that all again. Can you tell me if you heard what I read? I'm still waiting for you to respond. Did you hear my what I read and did you hear my question or do you want me to re read it again or just repeat the question? No, I couldn't get at your question. Sir. Okay. Sir, I'm going to read again and try to summarize the key, go to the key points only. You said that the Trepang Tama Dam started in February, probably in 1977 but that one or two months earlier there was a meeting that at the meeting there was Taniem and people from the central party. You also said that there were people from Tahong's region and all members of the district committee. And you said the chief of the mobile brigade, Taval. You were asked where did they meet, and you said first in Spy and then Trapiang Tamal. You said that you did not go to the meeting, but that they told us that tomorrow there will be a meeting with central party members, district committee, chief of zone, and region. Is that correct that you were told about this meeting in Svai and Trapiang Tamal about the dam? Yes, that is correct. After the meeting was held in Svai, then a, the, another meeting was held at the Trapiantumo Dam website. And were you told that central party members, district committee, chief of zone and region were all present at the meeting? No, they did not tell us uh, those details. The information was uh, later disseminated regarding the work plan for the dam construction. Well, sir, in the DC CAM interview, which was recorded, this is what you said. You said, well, they told us that tomorrow there will be a meeting with central party members, district committee, chief of zone, and region. And did you lie to those interviewers? No. That's how they told us. Ce on nous a dit. But I uh, did not know details of uh, the names of those people, noms, and indeed a uh, meeting was convened. Et une and did they tell you that question. central party members were present? From what I heard, yes, but I did not know who actually uh, attended uh, the meeting. When you were working at the dam for the mobile brigade, what was your food ration? The 
Because the, the food ration during the uh, busy period, we were given three cans of rice per day each. However, during the uh, normal period, the ration reduced to one and a half cans. And uh, sometimes it reduced further. Now you said that, um, by the way, did others in different, different types of workers get different rations? For example, when you were assigned to collect fertilizer, what was the ration you received then? For the for those carrying fertilizer, they receive the same resins as we did, and that also applied to other uh, workers in other mobile uh, units. You're saying when you my question is when you were collecting fertilizer. Which did you receive? Did you receive three cans of rice? You said sometimes when that was when you were working hard, and when not working hard, it would be a can and a half, I believe you said. What did you do when you collected fertilizer? When I carried the fertilizer, if other workers received three cans of rice, then I also received three cans of rice. Here, I refer to the busy period. Were you still in the mobile brigade when you were collecting fertilizer? Yes, I was still part of the mobile unit, but I was reassigned to carry fertilizer. Did you carry it at the dam, or was it a different location? It uh, varied. Sometimes it was near the uh, dam work site. However, later on, I uh, carry fertilizer as part of a mobile unit uh, along to the forest area. You said you were. It was fertilizer number one. Collecting it does not sound like a pleasant job. Sir, why were you taken from being the assistant to Taval and sent to collect fertilizer? I did not know what mistake I made. And I was reassigned to carry fertilizer, so I did. And I thought that maybe somebody made an accusation against me. That's why I was reassigned. Who reassigned you? Taval held a meeting and he was the one who reassigned me to carry fertilizer number one. Why didn't you ask him why you were reassigned? During the regime, nobody dared to ask any question. If you were assigned to carry out a task, you had to carry it out. Nobody dared to ask. Could you have, well, why didn't you refuse the, the job? I 
I did not dare to refuse it. As I just mentioned it, during the regime, régime, you could not uh, refuse it. And I was already uh, fearful when Et I was being reassigned. Peur. So how could I dare to refuse uh, the reassignment? Sir, when you said you were fearful, Monsieur, it may be obvious to you, peur, but can you explain to us what were you afraid of? What were you afraid of happening to you? Que -vous qu vous the fear uh, was that I was wondering if someone made an accusation si against me, if there is a, a case, then si I would be uh, in a big uh, risky situation Alors, that I might be uh, arrested and sent to be killed. Were you aware of that happening to other people? I might have heard about it, but personally, I did not parler, uh, see it. Je je At that time, moi. we only whispered to one another about the uh, disappearance of this worker or that worker for no reason. Do you recall if many workers disappeared for no reason during the time you were working at the dam? People disappeared without any reason. And in fact, during the regime, nobody dared ask any question about uh, this issue. For example, if I was uh, to be taken away, and that's the end of the, the story. Nobody dared to ask uh, about uh, why I was being taken away. By the way, on this subject, did you ever, were you ever questioned about being by officials during the regime? about the fact that you had previously been a teacher and a monk. But no, they did not ask me uh, any question on this matter. However, uh, we were asked to make our biography, and it is up to individuals to write uh, what is true about uh, ourselves. Did you disclose that, or did you keep that secret at the time to protect yourself? I actually uh, did not disclose it, and I uh, wrote that I studied at a pagoda. And in fact, they asked uh, villagers from my village about my education, but they didn't learn anything since the villagers did not know as to which grade I studied up to. Thank you. How long were you assigned to collect uh, fertilizer? To my recollection, I did uh, that job for five to six months. J'ai effectué ce travail pendant 5 à 6 mois. And only after uh, Taval had been arrested Et ce n'est qu'après l'arrestation de Taval uh, que j'ai cessé ce travail. Do you know approximately when Taval was arrested? Approximativement à quel moment Taval a été arrêté? Anoukan I can only tell you the uh, estimate uh, time. 
Je ne peux vous donner qu'une approximation. It happened in 1977. Uh, it could be in late uh, 1977. Or rather, it could be in early, uh, early part of the year. En début d'année. Who arrested uh, Taval? Ah. I didn't qui a know that Taval. for sure. Réponse, je ne le savais pas avec certitude. Do you know where he was taken? Question, savez-vous où il a été emmené? No, I did not. Réponse, I non, only heard that pas. he was called to attend a study session and he disappeared since. And I did not know where he uh, was arrested. You said early 1977. Who was the zone leader, if you recall, at the time that Taval was arrested? It was uh, Do you know if the people that arrested Taval were from the northwest zone or originally from another zone? I could not possibly know that. Réponse, ne pouvais pas le savoir. The situation was fluid and remained uh, changing at the time. La situation était extrêmement mouvante à l'époque. After your, you said you worked collecting fertilizer, I believe you said about five months. What did you do next? À peu près cinq mois, qu'avez-vous fait ensuite? Bah. After that and after réponse, the arrest of Taval, Taval, there was a change of uh, management. That is, uh, the Southwest came to replace those uh, people, and I was uh, reassigned to distribute rice. Who actually replaced Taval in his job? After his arrest, réponse. Après son arrestation, the uh, pain, the former Plumsrock district committee, uh, replaced him. De de est venu le When you were Taval's assistant, how many workers were under him, if you know? Avait-il sous lui, si vous le savez? If you think of the number of Réponse. workers, uh, si that is, all the workers de within the mobile de unit, uh, there were about 8,000 of them. Can you tell us anything about Peng, who replaced Taval, where he came from? He uh, was uh, from. He was a former uh, Phnom Penh district uh, deputy committee. So he was also from the northwest. Is that correct? Northwest. Northwest. Is exact. Bad, bad. Yes, yes, that is correct. In the job that you had distributing rice, who did you report to? Question. Et lorsque vous distribuez du riz à qui rendez-vous des comptes À that time, I reported to brother uh, Joan, who was actually in charge of the uh, mobile Joan unit and uh, the supervision of the pain. Et, et sous la supervision de pain. 
And this was, um, would it be correct that this mobile unit Question was the mobile exact. unit for Sector 5? Is that correct or no? Bye. Yes, that is oui, correct. Uh, it was the sector five, sector five for mobile unit. Does your honor wish to break now? President, thank you, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Merci, Monsieur le Co-procureur. It is appropriate time for us to take a lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon to continue our proceedings. Court officer, please assist the witness in the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties during this lunch break and invite him back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are set to take Kilson Pond to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.